What's going on guys? K-Dub 250 back here again. So I had something else I want to talk to you guys about. Um, it was brought up a few nights ago, maybe like last week in a hangout. And I thought somebody was going to do a topic on it, so I was going to let them do it, but I haven't seen anybody do it yet. So, I think, uh, I'll give the credits to this topic. I think it was ZX-10 Rider. I think. Um, basically, we were talking in the hangout. It was, uh, it was off air at, th at th this time. So, uh talking about something and that led to you know what moto vlogging is basically doing right now um because moto vlogging right now nope hold on i'm gonna get turned no talking at red lights number one rule all oh, green all right we're good so fuck it i talked through the whole thing um basically what moto vlogging is right now Motor vlogging right now is still relatively small. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, newer people coming in, um, and that's awesome. But what I'm talking about is uh, the fact that if you look at some of the bigger guys, uh, Yummy R6, Chase on Two Wheels, Walt Terrific, Do It With Dan, you know, any of the big guys, uh, six foot, whoever, it doesn't matter. Most, if not more than half of their uh, subscribers or their fan base are minors. They're 13, 14, 15 years old. Basically what I'm trying to say is, yeah, motor vlogging is, it's, it's a big thing right now, but it's still small. Like, this is a new type of entertainment that's coming out. And basically, right now, we are basically shaping the future of this next generation. If you, if you really think about it, you have all this influence by these younger guys before any, any motor vlogging was a thing or YouTube or having a GoPro strapped to your helmet. At 13 years old, there was no way for me to watch something like this. Now you have 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds watching this and now you see them commenting, what would be a good first bike when I turn 16 or 18 or whatever. You, you may not realize it, but this moto vlogging thing going on right now is shaping the future. It's shaping, shaping this future generation that's coming up right now. And I think it's so awesome to be a part of that. To have some type of influence on these younger, younger guys that are watching, and getting them to where you know they're not afraid of motorcycles. You know they see it and they're like, "Oh man, that looks like so much fun." You know these guys are riding around on a motorcycle, having a good time, making tons of friends, going to these meetups, meeting so many different people. It's awesome, and that's what they're seeing. I know me personally, I have a couple, a good amount of some subscribers that are 14 and 15 years old and I'm always getting asked questions by them you know what would be a good first bike or is this bike uh, uh, too small so I can only imagine what the bigger guys are getting asked all the time you know um, yeah so it's pretty it's pretty awesome that uh, if, you, if you think about it in that sense we are actually shaping the future of this generation that's coming up you know yeah, motorcycles are a pastime and whatnot, but who's to say it's not a future thing too? I'm not. I don't see motorcycles ever going anywhere. But they have 
guys, I just wanted to bring that up to you guys, give you all something to think about. I thought it was really cool. Whenever it was mentioned in, a hang in the Hangout the other night, I was like, man, that would be a great topic. And so I, I actually said that. And some other other guys were like, oh yeah, I'm totally doing that. Well, I haven't seen anybody do it. So, I did it. Uh, this probably won't come out till probably a week from now, because I have a bunch of videos already scheduled um, every few days. So, um, yeah, whatever gets posted, it, who knows, There may, it may have, maybe somebody else already put a topic up by now, by the time you actually see this, but I don't know. I thought it was a really cool topic just to think about. Like, every person involved in moto vlogging right now is, is in some way, shape, or form is, is basically etching out a piece of the future for this next generation that's coming up. And so, such a cool feeling. And I am so glad to be a part of it. So that's all I got, guys. Just want to share that with you. Until next time, K-Up 250 is out of here. Peace.